we hear sometimes that uh, people say, well, the brain is a muscle that you have to exercise. Mm -hmm. As a neurological expert, can you speak to that? Is that Absolutely. a true, accurate statement? Yeah, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So over in parts of Europe, they're studying something called digital dementia, which means we're using technology. Technology is great, but the way that we're using it is coming as a detriment to the brain. For example, now they have cameras like in refrigerators where you can see what you need you know, to go grocery shopping and things like that where we're doing a lot of stuff on like technology and iPads and all these kind of things. Whereas you know, we're not using the skills that we want to use to develop the fine motor skills and the cerebellar pathways that go up in the frontal lobe and make our frontal lobe. The frontal lobe makes us human, right? That's our executive part of the brain. Organization, sequencing, planning, focus, concentration, motivation, drive, ambition, making a decision calculating, all those things are executive function. So we want to catch those things as soon as possible and so we're going to stimulate parts of the brain that we think are not functioning up to capacity or optimally and we're also going to evaluate the risk factors that might be a detriment to the brain or putting fire on the brain to see if we can quench that and then kind of gain uh, some advantage in both of those avenues. Mm, that's great. How does neuroplasticity fit into all of this? Yeah, so neuroplasticity, right, plastic is like it's, it's bendable, it's changeable, right? You can, you can change the brain as far as like the wiring, right? So one neuron, right, has a couple different branches and then you stimulate it enough and it starts to branch out and communicate with more neurons. And then those neurons start to communicate back with the neuron that sent that message, right? And that's neuroplasticity and you're making that pathway more efficient. So for example, if I can't balance on one foot with my eyes closed, and I keep doing that, and all of a sudden in a month I can do it, that's neuroplasticity. Anybody that has a concern, like, I don't think my brain's as sharp, I have a lot of brain fog, so they're just mental clarity isn't great, processing speed, making a decision maybe, maybe, you know, memory retention. The way we get kind of taught is like, if this is the normal speed of a neuron, right, people with brain fog, it's kind of like this takes them longer to have that trans that, that signal go from neuron A to neuron B. So in Alzheimer's, right, or forms of dementia, if we have a bunch of like junk like beta amyloid or like neurofibrillary tangles and these things that can alter conductance from one neuron to the other, if they're not communicating with each other, then they start to kind of shrivel up, right? Because they're not generating protein in there and then something pathologically is damaging it. So we need to try to put the fire out, right? And then try to stimulate the brain and see if we can make any changes in the positive direction. Mm -hmm.